Hello my beautiful fire signs and welcome to your 2018 fire sign reading for the year ahead. This is going to be a general reading for Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So this is, I thought I'd get some more fire out for you and um, basically because of the long nights now, um, it seems like we're going to do this in the dark and I just decided to make it nice and cosy on my altar for you and just to see kind of what's coming through. So welcome, I hope this brings you a lot of joy, a lot of good messages and some handy hints as to what's coming through. We're gonna be using the Everyday Witch Tarot um, just to kind of see what information comes through from these. As you may know, I am a witch and um, these cards just really speak to me on the deep, deep level. So we're going to be looking in kind of the feelings as to what's coming through. And I thought it might be easier than just going into, you know, various depths in regards to 2018 for each individual sign, just to do group them by element. Um, so this is going to be a short and sweet forecast for 2018. 18. If you do want a personal or private reading about the 2018, you can just click the link in the description box below and that'll take you to my readings page and the 2018 reading is on there. I think it's near the bottom or if you go to my homepage, it's at the top. So let's see what information we can get for you guys. The first sign that I will be doing is Aries. And I was saying on the water sign one actually that this is quite a strong, strong time. Um, 2017 has been about bashing down the walls, being transparent, um, rising from the flames, not being, um, not being quiet anymore, standing up for what we believe in, making our voices heard, indicating social structures changing. Um, you've seen it with the. Harvey Weinstein instances and stuff like that, things, institutions are no longer being quiet. Everything that is quiet is now being ripped apart, basically. Um, and I think this is basically something to do with the seven in this year, um, simply because the number seven is about quiet, solitary, that kind of individual thing. And it's about ba basically looking into things. Um, and I think 2018 is going to be more about the feeling of understatedness, the feeling of um, healing and going to our higher selves and elevating ourselves and being maybe something that we really wanted to um, change within us. So it's very, very interesting to see the energy of 2018 seems really bold, really beautiful. And I hope it's going to give us all the energy that we need, basically. Uh, but without further ado, I'm just going to shuffle the cards for Aries, and then it's going to be Leo, and then it's going to be Sagittarius. So let's just get on with the readings. All right, Aries, let's see what comes up for you guys for the month. The month. I'm still on monthly mode for the year of 2018. Now, I'm not going to go in-depth into every single month. That is what a private reading is for. So this is basically for the general outlook, the general feel of what 2018 is going to be. And I'm already getting that a lot of you are going to have involvements with air signs. So whether that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it could be... It could be that you're getting married to one of them. I feel like a lot of you will be having dealings with female air signs, actually. Um, so this could be interesting to see. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Three of Swords. Okay. Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Swords. Now that's not too bad to be honest. And underneath we have the Seven of Pentacles. That's not too bad. I'm not going to say that, oh, Aries, what's going on? You know, I'm not going to say anything like that because it actually feels quite good. Okay, so I'm just going to have a feel. There's only take another one from the top, so I'm going to have to. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. So these two will be at the bottom right here. 
<clears throat> so pentacles, 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 pentacles. That's all you need to know. No, it's, it's, it's basically material things coming through for you in 2018. You're going to start to put your feet down, um, or put your foot down, should I say, making sure that you feel very dedicated, that you feel quite strong with things, that you feel um, in tune with certain elements of yourself, that you are brave. Um, you're going to go after what you want. Some of you, I think, are deciding to change where you live. Others are... Others are hoping to achieve something. Sorry, that's not pentacles, that's swords. So you've still got three pentacles here. So basically, it's pentacles and swords. I think the way you communicate is very key this year to your instructions um it's basically your own instructions to self you know how your past year affects the current year you know you look back at 2017 and goes mm, i didn't like this 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 right instructions to myself i'm going to do this 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 so for once aries you're going to do a little bit of forward planning now some of you just like to go on impulse go where the mood takes you but I really do feel that you're going to be planning. And the Four of Pentacles in particular, I think, is all about your idea of stability, your idea of security, and what you want to achieve in general for 2018. Could be financial security, job security, security around your home, family, loved ones, that sort of feeling. It could be this um, transmutation of you who you were in 2017 and who you want to become your health i think is going to be a little bit better as well you're going to be working on that and also maybe seeing if you want to change career um but it does feel a little bit like you're trying to understand certain things about yourself still in this particular card it's like you don't want to open yourself up to people maybe as much as you have done so with that in mind you could be thinking hmm i don't really want to go down the trust you immediately road or I'm not going to um, invite people in all the time you know into my heart all the time and weirdly enough as I was just looking at the wall um, there was this kind of vision that I saw in the glinting flame of the candle here um, and it looked like a heart you know like one of those you know actual hearts you know inside with the valve and everything so I think that there's something to do with not just your health and the fact that you need to clear your heart chakra a little bit, but also just to see if there's something that you need to do in order to release yourself, release the shackles that you may have around your heart in some way. Because it could take a little bit of bravery to actually just say, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to be strong here. And then the Three of Swords, to me, is about a third energy. This is maybe about a little bit of heartbreak that you've had in 2017 that you're still trying to get over but to me it feels like there's a third energy that you need to release so it could be that you're focusing too much on your personal endeavors it could be that you're focusing too much on um something that's you know time away distance uh, maybe there's something blocking you from your ideal pursuits your ideal career it could be your own anxieties or it could be another person so it could be you know a third person in the relationship or so they're seeing somebody else or they haven't got over an ex or you haven't got over an ex so it could be that something like that's coming through it could also be things like legal issues things that are coming you know in to kind of block your path but you need to somehow get over that hurdle and actually say no I'm not going to be insecure about it because the five of pentacles if anything shows that there is a lot of worry that you've had previously you don't want to be kind of pushed out in the cold but similarly with this card this interpretation of it I feel this is about you actually finding your place you're finding something to let you in you're finding sanctuary you're finding this ability to maybe give yourself an easier time this year um so if people have been kind of shaking sticks at you going do this do this do this now's going to be the time to kind of step back and go no no I'm not going to do that for you I'm actually going to do it for myself now it may be that you go off the beaten track a little bit in 2018 that you decide to take yourself um on a journey 
or a little adventure. Now, I don't necessarily mean that you're literally going to pack your bags and go trekking across the globe, but if that's what you want to do, I think you should do it, because it certainly feels like there's an element of you now moving. You're moving something. You're wanting to change something. Maybe you have no idea where you're going, but you are going to be found. You are going to be found where you need to be. And I think that's kind of a nice, homely feeling for you guys. It's going to be something where you feel like, oh, okay, I've arrived and I'm where I need to be. And that essentially is something that I think you can take some heart felt from. You know, you can really have this feeling of, oh, okay, I'm okay, I'm just going to do my thing, basically. This could also be your career. This could be an element of, oh, I'm not sure how to present myself. I'm not sure what to do, whether I should let myself in. But the Page of Swords could be this water, so this air sign person, sorry, um, the Libra, the Aquarius, or the Gemini, who comes through with maybe a little bit of uh, uncertainty on their part. They're not quite sure as to what they want to do. They're not quite sure as to um, how they want to behave. But the Page of Swords is about you standing up for yourself, maybe with that person or them standing up for you. So I think no matter what may be up in the air, you get proof that you can do it and that they also believe that you can do it as well. Could be that this is an alliance with somebody in particular, or it could be that this is somebody who's advocating for you, who's actually going, no, this person can do it. I also feel your communication is going to be a lot better. And maybe your thoughts that you're writing down or something that you're writing is actually going to help you see the magic of a situation. And then you get an offer. You get something that comes through with this in mind, this particular connection. And I do feel this is very much about routine. This is about efficiency. This is about having a goal in mind. And for me, it's all, I'm always, you know, because of the broom and everything, and he's got a golden pentacle, I'm always reminded of Harry Potter and the snitch. So basically, he's going to be searching for this spark of gold. And this is what you're looking for. You're looking for this spark of gold to grab it and basically win and I think this is going to be something that you can truly achieve to be honest um you can go in you can really define yourself and you can say I've won 2018 the only thing is I do think that you've got to get rid of this blockage so it could be something that you didn't manage to do in 2017 that's no biggie I don't think it's going to really drag you down in the step in the next year uh, but I do think that you need the time to recover and you need that Basically, maybe you need this person, this advocate, to tell you, you're all right. Don't worry so much. But I really hope this helps you, Aries. I do hope that you let me know in the comments below what you expect to come from this next year. If you want to skip ahead to the ending where there's just a little roundup, that'll be fine. Um, but on to Leo. Alrighty, Leo. Let's have a look and see what comes up for you. I have shuffled in between, but just to make sure, I'm just going to shuffle again. Now on this very, very cold December evening for me today, I'm just going to try and tune in to the Leo energy and see what Leos have to come through in 2018. Now they're giving me a beautiful, beautiful orangey yellow energy. Really, really nice. Um, and I did get a fleeting feeling, but let me just see if I can get that back for you. Recovery. Searching came to mind as well. Recovery, searching. Leo, 2018. Give me just some general energies of what Leo needs to know in 2018. Oh, now or another one? Let's do now. Okay. Wow. All right. Ten of Cups. That is brilliant. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. For those of you single and ready to mingle, I believe that this is a sign. And then we have six of swords. And at the bottom, even the oh, I was going to say, even though I'm not actually going to look at the bottom and say it in the reading, I think she is definitely worth mentioning. This is a star and she brings good energy. The universe is behind you. The universe wants you to get what you want this year. Um, you've come out the other side of some really hefty trials and I think she really wants you to 
get things done. This is about balance, your spirit guides, pay attention to manifestation, law of attraction, clear out all the shit you don't need, basically. I'm not going to mince my words because Leos never do. Um, so just clear out all the shit you, need, you don't need anymore. Make sure that's cleared to one side. I'm excited for you. Okay, so, because <laughs> this is a really good reading and with the star underneath, you know, I'm thinking big things are coming for you this year, Leo. I mean, some of us in 2018, not gonna lie, are gonna have some challenges. But for you, I, I think you've had a lot of challenges recently anyway. Maybe even the last, I wanna say eight years, seven years maybe around that time so now we're getting into a place of growth and a place of things where you can lift and you know remove all that excess energy that maybe have dragged you down in the past um let me just get out a little bit more for you guys here if you want love you're gonna get some love going through i think he's got something to do with it if you want a better relationship he's also got something to do with it if you want to grow in your um in yourself this is definitely coming through with that all right <sighs> oh i'm getting all tingly and it's nothing to do with the cold either okay they're giving me some like balms maybe you need some balms for your hands or balms for something um but they want you to have some kind of um something to do with your hands and make sure that you, you can smell some nice nice stuff that um, stimulates your psychic senses something on, on your hands basically they're showing somebody doing something like this and putting some balms on so i think that that's going to be quite important for you maybe they want you to treat yourself well maybe they want you to um, have a connection with your hands and just kind of hold your energy together because that can be something that you need to do the currency between left and right is something that you need to kind of um, increase hmm. but basically without further ado this is your happy ever after basically this is your hmm, satisfaction your alignment with yourself your happiness and your ultimate fulfillment, your emotional fulfillment. You are where you want to be. You are with who you want to be. And I think this has to come through, first of all, from the inside out. So you can't just think that, okay, well, January the 1st, I'm just going to trip into a relationship and it's going to be happy ever after from then on in. No, that's not how it's going to work. But you do have the potential this year for getting what you want, for getting who you want, the lifestyle you want. I think actually I'm going to go back on that. This is the lifestyle. You're going to get the lifestyle you want. So whether that includes a person or doesn't include a person, doesn't matter. You're going to get the lifestyle you want and basically feel emotionally fulfilled and happy. Because you've also got this, the Ten of Pentacles too. You can really manifest what you want this year. You really can't. This is wealth. This is establishment. And again, it's kind of like a, st a standard family structure. But I do feel that most of it is to do with you feel at one, you feel at ease, you feel comfortable, you've got the things and the people around you that you want. Um, you've got the job maybe that you want, the treasures that you want, um, the house, the location, the place, the security, the food, the health. This is all for you this year. This is all for the taking. And I don't think that you have to really worry too much about what's going on in this. It's just a case of the you. You feel like it's coming through. You feel like it's giving you more. And the King of Pentacles as well. This could be somebody who's very disciplined, um, sometimes controlling, but ultimately he's offering you something. He's offering you this house, almost like, because he's right in front of this house here. So it could be this is your knight in shining armour, um, but it also could be the luxury, the um, kind of pinnacle of what you need, you know, the sacredness. It could be somebody who's very down to earth, very practical, who's ready to work with you i also feel that he's very earthy very spiritual very into the earth and stuff like that so it could be to do with um animals or care or something like that it feels very definitive but the six of wands sorry six of swords here says that you are probably going to decide to move 
You're going to take all your experiences, everything that you need, and I think Pisces had this one. You're going to take all your experiences, everything that you need with you. You're going to take everything alongside you here. And I think this is very important. This is incredibly important, to be honest. Um, all your experiences, everything that you need, you fit in your knapsack and just go. And it may be that experiencing the world or experiencing some new adventures, experiencing some different cultures or just having a holiday and a break, because you definitely need one of those. It could be that this leads you to that epiphany of, I can get this, I can have this, I can really, really utilise this. So... It feels like a really good year is coming through for you, Leo. If you want to fast forward to the end with the summary and everything like that, that's fine. It'll just give you a brief overview. Um, but in the meantime, comment below and let me know what you think and what's coming through. And now we'll go on to Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. Okay, I've just been shuffling in between Leo and yourself. So hopefully we'll get some different cards. Um... Last time I said that, they actually brought up two of the same from like five readings ago. So we'll see if we can avoid that. But still, if they come through, they're yours. So let's see what we've got here. I'm just going to try and connect into the Sagittarius energy for 2018. What's coming through with Sagittarius for 2018? What do we need to know for the Sagittarians who are watching this video for 2018? Mm -hmm. uh, they just whoa hello so these will be yours um they just told me that it was a bit of escapism coming through whoa. so you've got the hanged man knight of cups the two of wands i'll just take these a little bit and the ace of wands very nice okay so i would agree with the escapism because it seems like you're going to be having something very new come through and having this kind of release and relief even for you guys the hanged man especially seems that maybe you're gonna feel at some point that yes you're in the same situation or a very similar situation could be emotionally physically or something like that but you do have a unique perspective to bring to things you do have a unique way of looking at certain things and i feel like even though you have possibly got into a routine you know where you're going to be you kind of book a schedule or something like that it feels like this is going to lead you into something new um the knight of cups could be I'm not saying definitely but it could be synchronicity somebody who's creative somebody who's charming um somebody who gives you a romantic feeling but also it could be just the delivery of love from somebody in particular so it could be emotional messages um things that you find that you didn't realize was there um this feeling of love inside of yourself as well it could be this sense of emotion that you are bringing out in some kind of medium so it could be that you're finally able to put a lot of love and emotion into something that you're very passionate about and having free reign to do that but either way I feel like there's a lot of energy that you can bring forwards this year there's a lot of up so it's kind of like you've been healing you've been kind of in the same situation same place maybe a bit frustrated with that and now you're going to be able to move into something different something maybe broader in a way as well so the two of wands basically is about the progress and discovery so you've kind of had a spark of an idea or you've done the first year of what you need to do and last year or 2017 was year one universal year one this year's universal year two and you may actually have you know look at the world and thinking right what do i want to do do i want to conquer the world do i want to find my place in it do i want to um change the world do i want to contribute to it so i feel like this is something that you've got to decide really um i feel like this is kind of like having both of your all cylinders firing at once you know uh, you're really going for it you're really having a look and this could be a theme for you in 2018 this could be a theme that you're actually looking for something you're, you're the searcher you're the philosopher you want to travel maybe or you want to find something new and with the ace of wands i think you'll get it this is inspiration this is creation so i do see quite an arty um lustrous 
year this year for you. This is definitely progress. And I feel this is going to be something that you have to manifest for yourself. You know, maybe you're getting into a little bit of the arts that you lost or something like that. Or you want to look into co-creation and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like you may be looking into the ways in which the world can serve you as well as which you can serve the world. And it could be that you read books about it or you want to write a book about it or something like that. But I think that there's a gift that you have, Sagittarius, and you're going to have to use it this year. That's what it feels like to me. This life's sole purpose is coming through for you. Your past experience, maybe in past lives and stuff, will connect you to something or someone. And I feel this is the foundation of something that you kind of track now. You know, this is something that you have a wealth of abundance of knowledge about inside of you, but maybe you haven't drawn yet. So I feel like there's, there will be love coming. There will be a change of perspective, but also there seems to be a need for you to kind of shift your energies and go, hmm, no, actually, I want to do something. I want to branch out. I want to change my routine, maybe. You're feeling a bit more brave this year. You're feeling a bit more out there and you still have I think some people wanting to help help you and let's just have a look at the bottom here you have the justice card so this is new contracts this is new ways this is things like going into balance again so I do think that you are on your way to something quite positive and I do believe that you are going to have quite an uplifting experience in 2018 that's what I feel most of all but I'll just do a quick roundup at the end and um, yeah, let me know in the comments below as to what you feel is coming for you. Well, my lovely fire signs, that was your three readings, three very different readings, actually, when you think about it, but still all basically focused on the energy of life and energy going through you. So it has that common occurrence there, I think. Um, but again, if you want a personal reading for your 2018 that goes in depth into every single month, just let me know in the comments below or email me, laurieantaro at gmail.com. The best way to do it is just to order it direct from the website and just go on the link below and it'll take you there. But let me know how things are going for you guys and what you can appreciate from 2018 and what you're going to maybe resolve to do. I don't have any resolutions at the moment. I'm just trying to get through the end of this year first. Um, but yes, just let me know how things are. I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me, for those of you who are still subscribers. Um, and for those of you who are new subscribers, welcome and thank you. I look forward to spending a lot of 2018 with you. It really does warm my heart that everybody, you know, comments and likes and shares and it really does make me feel very appreciated. So thank you for that. And I really appreciate you guys too for your support in such a lovely way. Um, if you do have any questions, just email me. Like I said, it's laurieantaro at gmail.com. But in the meantime, have a wonderful end of 2017. Enjoy the rest of this year if you can uh, and also look forward to 2018 and I'll look forward to reading for you guys there as well.